what is up guys stone here back with another video and a lot of you have been asking me to make an fps boost video and here we go again this video will be your one stop shop for all kinds of fps boost in valorant now i cannot guarantee you that if your pc cannot run valorant it's gonna magically run valorant after this what i do guarantee is that you you will get more fps than before with that out of the way let's get into the video first of all we're gonna start with the basics understand that valorant is a cpu heavy game you have to have a good cpu at least a playable cpu at first you need to know that you have to be updated on the windows never mind my c drive red signal you need to have windows 10 on your pc it's much better much faster and optimized for gaming after that if you have very little fps i do not think you have a graphics card type in geforce and you'll come to this interface if you have an nvidia gpu if you have a amd gpu search amd radeon settings and you'll come to your interface after that come to drivers and you see I have to update and if you if you need to update you have to update and download from here be sure to always keep updated on these after that you can go to game mode and turn it on this improves a lot of performance Microsoft itself confirmed that if you turn on game mode it helps Windows optimize games and gives games more priority so you have to turn that on first I'm clearing out the basics and after that I'm gonna give you some tips that will surely surely increase your FPS come to your settings come to your video setting graphics quality and put everything to low if you have a processor that does not have much cores or threads use off if you have something like like an i5 10th gen just use on that's it but i'm guessing you do not have higher cores so you should use the multi-threaded off now if you have the beta experimental sharpening put that to off cast shadows put that to off anti-aliasing put that to none and isotropic filtering 1x and everything is pretty much same limit fps on battery will be off because if you're using a laptop maybe use this option but if you're not on a laptop just turn it off because you have a power supply that's plenty enough and uh, max fps uh, keep it to where you want you can put it to 200 but if, since you're not getting higher fps so it doesn't count nvidia reflex low latency i have mixed feelings about this but on some pieces on on plus boost works good on some pieces off is good try it and if you see some choppiness you can change it okay my game already feels very very smooth it's way too smooth that i think my sensitivity has to go down i think so the trick starts like this and if you go to your video settings you will see you can change your resolutions you can go down to 1024 into 768 that's a 4 is to 3 resolution so we are gonna apply and the game will probably look shit at this point you will see a noticeable fps boost now some people will tell you that this is a disadvantage but valorant confirms that it will not give you any kinds of disadvantage uh, for fov so you're gonna see the same thing but it's gonna be a little bit zoomed in so for me i think it's not a disadvantage rather it's an advantage because um, you can see enemies bigger and it's easy for you to hit the enemies in this situation if you still want more FPS I have one more trick in my sleeve that you have to come to your Windows search and press run type in percentage app data percentage and ok when you come here you press app data you press local now you look for valorant there it is go to saved go to config go to the first one windows and here you'll see game user settings now come here come to properties if you have uh, this checked read only just take it off and apply and ok it should not be checked then you should come here double click inside you'll see this amazing hidden settings that you can change if you put everything to the lowest settings in game these settings will not change because this actually makes the game at least seeable or playable if you're having bad fps it's good to at least 
play the game on over 60 fps and rather than watching some enemies on hd what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put this to 50 percent press ctrl s and we're gonna cut this we're gonna right click and we're gonna come to properties read only apply okay now if you come to the game everything will be super super blurry okay so if you think you can go lower res than this i wouldn't recommend it but come to properties remove read only again apply okay come in and here i would recommend the last you can give is 30 okay and if you don't want to put it to 30 put it to 50 and make everything to 111 you can do another thing that is go to your task manager and see what's running in your background if you do not have a good pc and you're struggling with the fps you will try your best to get all the software that is idly taking your space you just have to take them down for example uh, movies and tv i don't need that do not cut the valorant kind of thing anything with the logo of valorant do not cut that off uh razor chroma razor stuff uh, i can i can definitely and task with these just uh, take a little time and find out apps that are taking a lot of space or you don't recognize do not cut your client it's and vanguard it's gonna close your game also you can put on startups you know, you can disable everything i have disabled almost everything because it's some extra pressure that i don't want to take for my pc but i think this is all you can do to fix your fps but if you're not having good luck with this i think you need a serious upgrade my suggestion will be try to buy a smaller gpu like a radeon r7 260 for amd and gt 10 30 or something from a nvidia i would recommend those gpus those are really cheap you can squeeze it off from your pocket money or something like that all right boys i hope this video helped you a little bit if this video helped you leave a like and subscribe to the channel comment below what you want to see next in my videos and if you have any questions put them in the comments i will be glad to answer all of them thank you so much for watching this is mr stone signing out peace